By default, when curriculum is pushed, all student learning experiences and student resources are set to being active, which means that when students access your course, they instantly have access to all of the resources that are included within your course. This might be somewhat concerning in the fact that I might not want my students to see all of the resources or student learning experiences that are associated with my course in total. I might want to give them specific resources and student learning experiences as we work through the course. And the easiest way to see this is if we go into resources and what you can see is that on the right hand side we have a toggle switch that's toggled on by default to yes which means that students are going to have access or this content is currently active within the course one of the easiest things to do is to place a check mark at the top which places a check mark down the left hand side i can go up to action and then i can say deactivate this will then deactivate all of my content and what that means is i as this teacher still have access and can see the content but my students cannot see the content. And so now we've switched over. Another other way to be able to tell what is active and deactivated is if we go back into plans and we look in our planner, notice how all of these items over here in our student resources column and our student learning experiences have now become italicized. So anytime you see words or um, resources and activities being italicized on the teacher side, what that means is you as a teacher can see it, but the students cannot. And so now what I have the ability to do is to determine, well, maybe within this experience or maybe um, at the beginning of the year, I want my students to have access to all of the content for unit one. So I could toggle that over and say yes, which then it's asking, well, do you want the rest of the stuff within the folder to be active? I might even deter determine that I want to maybe even be, be more granular than that. So I can come directly into that folder and I can place a check mark and I can say, no, I want to deactivate that content. It'll deactivate the content for me. And then maybe I want to say, well, I am actually going to um, have my students do this purposes of government headline activity. So I'm going to turn that on. I want them to work through this purposes of government PowerPoint. So I'm going to turn that on and authoritarian PowerPoint and reading. So now that content is active for my students and everything else is still showing as deactivated, which means I as a teacher still have access to it, but my students currently only have access to three different pieces of content that I have determined that I want them to have access to.